Hi guys! Welcome to Style Tips with LuLaRoe, Cara May. I'm your host, Cara, and today we're going to talk about belting LuLaRoe. So right now I have on an oversized Irma. This is about three sizes bigger than I usually wear. And I have belted it right at my natural waist and I'm just kind of playing with it, blasting it a little bit, giving it the kind of really fun boho look. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So oversized Irmas are a fantastic thing to belt. Um, if you're wearing LuLaRoe as maternity wear, by the way, putting the belt up a little bit higher, right below the bust, will give you a really cute way, no, no belly my baby, no baby in my belly right now, um, but you can picture it, cute little bump going on there, and it's a really fun way to wear an Irma as maternity also. So, first one, oversized Irma, that you just kind of play with, get all kind of unevenly slouchy, and that's a really cute boho look, so it's super easy to do. So next one is the Carly. So I love the Carly. It is one of my favorite dresses. And if you fall in love with a pattern that is just a little bit too big for you, belting it is a fantastic way to make this actually kind of a totally different style of a dress. It's really, really cute. <laughs> so it gives you a fitted waist with the Carly, which is, um, it doesn't naturally have one. So it makes it look really cute. You can see my, my belt is black, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, sorry about the lighting, you guys. It keeps fading in and out. can't tell if it's like that, but you can see it makes it kind of a fun spinny dress, too. It gives it a similar shape to the Nicole, but of course it's still a high-low. And it just gives you more flexibility with the Carly, which of course we love. Um, so belt in the Carly is a definite yes. So another dress that is fantastic to belt is the Julia. So this one I've done a couple sizes bigger than my normal size and I have a little belt right there. And I've just bloused it so it sits right over the belt and it just kind of hides it. But it adds, again, a fun shape to the Julia. So the Julia is naturally, it's a straight rectangular dress um, that's meant to hug your curves. And so this one being a little bit bigger isn't quite as tight fitting, but adding the belt um, creates a waist on it and it's a different kind of fun look for the Julia. Um, again, I'm not sure if you can see it totally because the pattern on it, but I think this is a really cute look. So again, belt your Julia's. Um, one other thing that you need to belt is the Monroe. So let me show you how I'm going to do this real quick. So I don't usually do yellow, so this will this will be a stretch for me to get this on here, but I think it will look cute with this dress. So get that colors go really well together. So getting your Monroe over your dress or a casting classic and then belting it is a really fun way to take advantage of the flowiness of the Monroe um, and giving it a kind of a fun different look. So there we go. You can see how it has flowiness, but instead of hiding all of your curves, you're giving definition to the smallest part of your waist, which hits right basically at the bottom of the ribcage. And it's really fun. <laughs> I like doing this actually quite a bit. It's one of my favorite looks of the Monroe because it just adds that little extra dressiness. You want it just flowy, it's really good for casual, but if you want it a little dressier, adding a belt with it makes it um, just adds that little extra that you need. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you would like to tune in every week, I'll be posting little row tips every week. <laughs> so if you would subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Um, also check out my Facebook shopping group and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.